Hey, welcome to Flugatronic. Up now we're going to take a look at a very different kind of instrument than we usually cover on the Flugatronic channel. Um, we're going to be covering a Native American flugelhorn. Okay, <laughs> not really, but uh, what we're going to be taking a look at is the new Swamp flugelhorn on the iPad, and we are going to be playing it with the Warble Wind Controller set up with the Native American flute fingering mode. I'll uh, we'll be mostly showing you the iPad screen of, of the SWAM user interface and the audio I'm going to be recording from the iPad to my Reason setup on the PC uh, so that we get a good clean signal and a good, good sound quality that way. Okay, so let's uh, launch Flugelhorn now. And you see it comes up in the main screen here. Now, this is set up for wind control out of the box. To do that, I've got my uh, Warble wind controller just going into the lightning port. Um, I have it set up currently as um, the standard uh, NAF, so it's going to be in the uh, key of A. So to get the, um, the, the app to understand the, the wind controller, the easiest way to go is uh, punch MIDI and then presets. And you see here a lot of presets um, set up for some of the common wind controllers out today. You see uh, Silphio, you see um, EWI Default, EVI, NURAD, a lot of the um, standards. Uh, brand new Yamaha YDS 150. Not seen one of those yet, but that, um, that's brand new. Um, Warble is not listed, so I'm just going with the wind controller default and then go back to the main screen. On the bottom here, you can see the range of the instrument. Um, I can play it with the keyboard. Now, it's set up for expression, so you're not getting, you're not getting the volume because I'm not generating any expression. Now, I can play expression through the keyboard like that. So let me just give kind of a medium expression you can see the range of this uh, flugelhorn instrument. This is the E flat, which is a lower register than your typical uh, B flat. This is the more common one you'd see um, unless you were in an orchestra or something. But I wanted to get the E flat just because I like the sound of it. So the range of the E flat goes from way down there at, uh, was that, A1? Uh, the octaves may be a little bit off. Um, terms of the numbering like on a, on a uh, piano or something but from A1 all the way up D5 so what is that that's uh, one two over three octaves probably more than a real flugelhorn player would be able to play um, but that gives you a lot of range so let's go ahead and uh, give, it, give it a go with the uh, the warble now right now I've got it set up for the lowest register Right off you can see the expression uh, coming from the warble and again I've got this set up for NAF mode with expression, new mouthpiece. Um, so you can see it's very easy to control uh, the breath pressure and get a lot of dynamics that way. You can see I'm getting a little bit of pitch bend control from, from the warble. So that's great. Uh, you'll notice a couple of the other controllers on the interface here and unfortunately I'm not able to take advantage of those directly from the Warble uh, because the Warble was intended as a, uh, originally designed as a whistle practice instrument. So the, uh, the breath control is, breath control is almost an afterthought. 
the fact that the uh, breast sensor was so sensitive, uh, developer Andrew Mowry was able to program in uh, the breath control and, and sending out expression that way, which is great. Uh, the, the one downside is there aren't any other uh, controllers that you would have on some of the uh, more more complicated things like the UE or the, the, the Wix series, still, still feel all those. So those would have some other controllers like a, a bite sensor or a glide strip on the EWE. Silphio has some motion controllers, so you can tilt up, down. And if you have one of those controllers, you could program those in to some of these other controls here. Um, with the Warble, I'll have to play it with the uh, on-screen, or I guess you could also use uh, some kind of foot, foot pedal or other expression controller. But just to give you a feel for what some of those sounds like, I was just uh, using my finger to uh, give some flutter tongue and growl on there. Uh, breath noise. Not telling a whole lot of, of difference there. Let's um, let's go up to a uh, another register. So I changed the uh, transpose on on my warble to get to a, a different register. <clears throat> so you can see see with that one um, again with um, with my nav fingering mode I get a second octave because of the uh, thumb hole in the in the back so that gives you uh, over a two octave range. At, at this register from the A2 all the way up to the C sharp 5. There you go. <laughs> and there's a couple of other notes that I'm um, not getting to, but that's um, plenty of range there. Let's look at uh, some of the muting, muting options. So that's pretty cool, and um, again, that would be kind of kind of neat to map to a different controller. So, um, but it's there. Okay, I think that uh, about covers all the features of the Swan Flugelhorn that I'm able to get to with my Warbo controller. Uh, but it uh, wouldn't be Flugelhorn unless we played a little bit of Chuck Mangione, so let's, uh, let's see how that goes.
Thanks for watching.